Well, hello YouTube. Today I am here in my dad's garage. He's working on a project that he needs to route a groove about a quarter of an inch in from a curved piece of wood. He was looking at this right here, purchasing a set of these, which is about $40, plus you need a special base plate for the router, which is an additional cost. But we're going to try to make something here because this is just going to be for a one-time thing. It's not going to be something that's going to be used over and over where this set would come in handy. So what we're going to start with is we have a piece of, what is that, three-quarter inch plywood. And we are going to drill a hole in it, center it, cut it out so that it will fit the router base. Epoxy this collar, which is about... What can we see here? Approximately three quarters of an inch. It's not quite round because it was kind of crushed a little bit at one point in time. What we're going to do is we're going to start by drilling a quarter inch hole in the center of this board. Okay, so we have a quarter inch hole in the center of the board. Now to get it lined up on the router. What we're going to do is take a quarter inch drill bit, put it in the router, set this on top of it and then proceed to draw a circle around the outside of that. We have the quarter inch bit, drill bit in the router. We are going to take our board, place it over that bit, tighten up the collet a little bit so it doesn't wobble, and simply trace around the base plate of the router. It doesn't have to be perfect. And that should be good right there. Now we are need, going to need to drill this hole out to three quarters of an inch. Drill the three quarter inch hole first so I would have a center point and start because I can't center the three quarter inch bit on that hole. Okay, so let's go. We're gonna drill partially through with the three quarter inch bit. Just enough so that we can recenter the three quarter inch bit and then we'll continue through with our quarter inch. Okay, so our quarter inch bit is now in and we can center that with the pin point from the three quarter inch. All right, so now that that is done, we will now redraw our circle using the plate of the router. So we got our three quarter inch bit back in and now we are going to go all the way through. Okay, so I had the Forstner bit centered in the original hole. All right, let's see if that'll fit. Way too loose. It's a little bit loose, but it will do because this is going to be epoxied yeah. in. All right, now to cut out the circle, which we'll do roughly on the bandsaw and then sand it to shape. Okay, so that's. Pretty good, we could probably just leave it like that, but I'm just gonna take it over to the disc sander off camera and clean it up a little bit. I have the base plate off the router, and we have to drill three 3 8 holes, which are the actual mounting holes for the plate to the router, and then a few pilot holes for a few small screws here to hold the base plate to the wood. So we're going to start by drilling the three outer holes. Alright, and we'll 
switch bits and dr drill the three inner holes. Alrighty. And that will go on here like this. And we'll just give it a quick sand. And then we're going to have to mount our collar in the center like that. I have the base plate of the router. That's going to go like that. And then we're going to epoxy this piece of tubing so that it only sticks out about uh, between an eighth and a quarter of an inch. We'll put our fitting. Down in there like that. Spreading it on some around the edge. Make sure that's not sticking out too far. And there we go. The epoxy is dried and I have attached the base plate of the router to the wooden adapter that we made. And this has been filed smooth, all the extra epoxy cleaned off of there. And now I've got two, two of the screws on here that hold it to the router and we'll attach that to the router and test it out. So we have our plate installed on the router with the bit and we have a test piece of wood here. This isn't the actual piece but it's just a test just to see how the assembly works. And let's go. pretty good. Yep. So that does work. Yep. And there we go. Success. What we have to do is do these now. Thanks for watching.